Howdy, howdy, folks. Once again, this is Donnie, and welcome back to our course. In this video, we are going to look at understanding the importance of cybersecurity throughout the entire merger and acquisition lifecycle. As I've already alluded to in the previous video, there are three distinct stages to the M&A lifecycle. And the cybersecurity considerations and planning have to begin at the very beginning of the M&A process, which is before the deal really even begins. This is just in the planning stages of the deal. So this has to begin before the target company, the company that your company is thinking about buying. This has to begin before that target company even knows that a potential deal is in process. So at this stage, it's mainly about doing a lot of research to gather information about that target company. Once the M&A process actually starts, then the teams from both of the companies have to start working together in order to see if they can get things integrated in a way that's actually going to work and that's going to be secure. And then by the time that the M&A deal has completed, the integration of the two companies' systems should also have been completed. But even then, there are still things to do to ensure ongoing best cybersecurity practices. And now you're saying, well, but Donnie, why can't we just buy the company and then worry about the cybersecurity later? Well, I've already alluded to that as well. It's just that you want to ensure that there are no unpleasant surprises after the deal is completed. So information that you gather at the beginning of the M&A process could make or break the deal. So let's say that you've just bought a company and you did not do any type of research before buying the company. And then you go into their server rooms and you see that they have maybe uh, Servers running obsolete operating systems. Maybe they're still running Windows Server 2003 or Red Hat Enterprise Linux version 5. <laughs> oh, we're going back in time there. Yes. But uh, that's something you definitely don't want to see. And when you're seeing, you know, things are that old, then there's probably a lot of other problems there as well. And yeah, this kind of stuff does happen sometimes. Maybe there's some shadow IT problems. Maybe somebody, some administrator has set up some sort of a solution that's not really authorized by the company. And uh, maybe that solution has not really been maintained very well. Maybe it's got a lot of vulnerabilities on it. Yeah, that stuff happens too. A couple of years ago, I heard a presentation uh, given by a guy who was actually involved in trying to resolve problems that came up about because of that. And uh, it was pretty ugly. And also, I know it's hard to believe, but yeah, some companies might even try to deliberately hide their IT problems. So you want to find out if they're doing that before you get into the deal, right? And also, the target company kind of related to that last point, but the target company could also have had some past security breaches that have not yet come to light. So yeah, those come to light. If you buy a company and you find out afterwards that, yeah, somebody broke in and stole a bunch of user data or planet malware or whatever else, that could be ugly. And you also want to know some about the culture and the work environment of the target company. Because if you go into a company and you find out that their IT workers are not happy, and I've seen that, that could also be a sign of some really bad underlying problems. And then there could also be some regulatory issues that could be related to either the business processes of the company itself or it could be also related to cybersecurity. So all that stuff you want to find out before you even contact the company to try to initiate a merger or acquisition deal. Also, keep in mind the cybersecurity process, whether or not there's 
an M&A deal involved is not just a destination. It is a continuous, ongoing process. And again, as I keep saying, it's to prevent surprises. So emphasizing the cybersecurity at every stage of the M&A process can prevent nasty surprises after you complete the deal. And it can also prevent future problems. So if you emphasize cybersecurity throughout the entire process, it will help ensure the proper integration of the two companies' IT structures. And that can prevent cybersecurity problems from occurring in the future. So that's pretty much it for this topic. In the next topic, we're going to talk about the concept of due diligence. So I will see you there.